blocked arteries in the heart. It happened to George Woolerton one day while riding his bike. It was the first time in my life I thought, I wonder if I'm, I'm having a heart attack or not. He was. Quick action brought him to the hospital where blockages were found on the right side of his heart. I think I'm probably a candidate for open heart procedure. I mean, that's just what, what everybody thinks. George didn't require a coronary artery bypass graft or what's known as cabbage or open heart surgery. Venus is in as well. Instead, his cardiologist performed a percutaneous coronary intervention, or PCI, which involves inserting a catheter through an artery and implanting metal tubes or stents to help reopen the blockages. The uh, improvements in PCI over the last 10 years have suggested that we can do things in the cath lab uh, without resorting to cardiac surgery that we couldn't do before. Dr. Peter Grunewald from the University of Pennsylvania School of Medicine and co-authors examined data from a 20% sample of coronary artery bypass and PCI procedures performed in U.S. hospitals between 2001 and 2008. Bypass surgery has declined by about 38%, a really remarkable decline in one of the leading surgeries uh, done uh, by American hospitals. There's a very stable number of PCI procedures being done. The decline in that was only about 4%. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. The concern would be if there's been a, almost a 40% drop in cabbage that perhaps some patients who should be receiving cabbages are not getting that particular procedure. Researchers also found many more hospitals are now performing bypass surgery even though the number of patients undergoing that procedure is decreasing. The PCI has become uh, a more prevalent option for treatment of coronary blockages that demands of both patients and physicians uh, some uh, close scrutiny about whether to pursue cardiac surgery or PCI. As for George, the decision to undergo PCI worked well. I feel great. I feel fine. I feel wonderful. I, I'm not limited in any way. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.